the, the rise of social networking, I think, has uh, really put a focus on how poor our social network is in a dynamic sense, particularly between younger and older people, but also because uh, young people don't realize that there's a whole generation of people missing. I mean, they just disappeared over 10 or 15 years, and you haven't experienced that. You've never been, uh, you know, never experienced like something like the Vietnam War, uh, skirmishes in the Middle East, yeah, but, uh, uh, but also, I think, you're, you're, I don't know if you're as critical about what you see as a social network. I don't really see the primary purpose of the social network is, I mean, we, we've all been co-opted into the, the economic machinery. You know, the population of any country is not just to produce, an, you know, boost the G, G, GDP, gross domestic product or gross national product. Um, and I'm surprised that a lot of young people are very hit to quick a block button. They don't want to talk to you if, you know, whatever the reasons are. Uh, and I find it much easier to just talk with young, you know, find a situation and talk with younger people in person on the street rather than through media because um, they, they think I'm, they think I'm old, <laughs> and they're right. You know, I am getting older, um, and there's a lot that you know you, you've been instructed by the old, older people in your lives and uh, lived up to their expectations or not or failed to. And uh, really, what I'm looking for is to find out what you can tell me about what's going on because the world that I know is dead. I mean, it's it's going to pass with, with me and people I know. And you are really the, you're, the, you're, you're, you're going to make it happen from what you're given, whether you know, there are opportunities and you'll make your opportunities or you'll not do that. And uh, I think social networking sh could, it, it needs to come up. <laughs> it needs to come up a bit. And I'm not really sure how to do that. I welcome, uh, uh, I think uh, maybe something along the lines of you know, go back 2,000 years to Greek and Aristotle and their idea of higher education was not, you know, get a degree and get a job. It was just discourse, explore. And um, I think, I'd like to open the <laughs> Unthunk University <laughs> um, or something like that. You know, you know, don't don't you know un unthink some of the things you've you've been taught or been told or examine what you've a accepted without really critically looking at it and you know use that to guide you because. You pick up a lot of shit when you're young, just because you you, know, you absorb everything, hopefully, and that's your advantage. Is I mean, nobody can learn languages like a five-year-old. I've had five-year-olds still sing language, and for some reason we train that out of them. But um, you know, there's just so much you can tell me if you just take the time to. <laughs> you know, and if I'm, I make myself more available, because I'm retired. I've got, you know, I'm 55. I'm okay. I mean, I'm not rich, but I got enough, and I got time to to work with people. So, you know, let me know. I may may help you skip over a few few roadblocks and get a jump start on a, a major, you know, <laughs> who knows, a major cultural project or direction. Okay, so I'm done and